This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be fun. Making new friends. Beth, I'm here to be your friend. If you want to be friends, yeah, you, me, you, friends. If you want to be friends with me, give me a big ol' high five. My friend! Welcome to SBSK. Join me as I travel around the world and interview individuals living with a condition to prove no matter how you communicate or what obstacles you face, you're always deserving of love and acceptance. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. I'm having a really good time with you. And now I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit. Do you like that? Here, we'll go in, we'll go out, we'll shake it all about, we'll do a little twisty and I forget the words to the song and that's what it's all about. Woo! I know, I'm incredibly corny, but that's okay, because we're having fun. You need to get to know Beth before you judge Beth. Um, I guess that would be my main thing, is you need to know her before you just straight up pass judgment that she looks weird. She's perfect to me. I mean, no matter what her head or everything looks, you know, she's my daughter, you know, like, so I, I mean, I, I love her, you know, unconditionally. If someone wants to be Beth's friend, what should they do? I think the best thing is just, especially at this age, yeah. I really appreciate when other parents bring their kids over and kind of make that initiative and just say something simple. I mean, just when a mom comes over and says, oh, you know, Look at her shirt. Don't you love that color too? You both love pink. So just at this age, it's easy to find common things that kids like together. So I think that's big at this age, just the parent coming over and us showing, being an example for the kids on how to introduce. Does that happen often? Um, it, I wish I could say yes, but it, it doesn't. There we are, my friend. Two superstars on camera doing the best interview ever. Yeah! Give me some skin. Are you having fun? If you're having fun, make a silly sound like this. Oh, I heard that one! That was a good silly sound. What about this one? That was an amazing silly sound. Even though she can't, you know, verbally tell you what she wants and stuff like, I know she understands because there's definitely times where you can tell her one thing or the other and either makes her happy or makes her mad. Like she, she can definitely tell you yes or no, whether she'd like something or not. She understands what we're saying and even when she's making noises in her head, she's thinking the words, but she just can't form them yet. Suspenders are coming back in style. Do you like them? I'm trying to bring them back. Everyone just makes fun of me. They say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you wearing these suspenders? But you know what? I think suspenders are cool. If you think they're cool, give me a high five. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because it's really easy when a child is considered nonverbal, maybe to talk to them more as you would a baby or someone younger and we just have to remember, no, she's four. So everything we say, she understands like any other four-year-old. And I know that if she could talk, she'd be very sassy in how she would respond, I'm sure, to mom and daddy. I mean, she's a normal four-year-old. Um, you know, she enjoys doing things like a normal four-year-old kid would do. Um, just because she looks different doesn't mean that she should be treated different. Tell me about how much you love your granddaughter. Oh, goodness. I think it's that somebody said if you'd known how grand, the, how wonderful the grandchildren would have been, you'd have had them first. So, we just love her so much. She's, and she has my name, so that makes it even more special. Unfortunately, we didn't have a heads up that anything was wrong beforehand. All the ultrasounds came back normal. The, the genetic testing doesn't test for Pfeiffer because it is so rare. So genetic testing had come back normal. Then when the doctor said, you know, get your camera ready, we're about to pull her out. He did, I mean, he pulled her out and 
the room was just silent. I mean, it was, it was just silent. When you look at Beth, what do you see? Well, I have to be honest, at first, it was, it was a little scary, a little overwhelming, but now I just see Beth, you know, I just see, I just see our baby girl, so she's just, there's nothing different about her, she's, she's normal to us. We're going to zoom in all the way up our nose and see some boogers. Just kidding. <laughs> You have a good sense of humor, though. What went through your mind the first time you saw Beth? What can I do to fix it? You know, I guess that's the, probably your typical dad thing is how can I how can I fix it? You know, like, um, what can I do? How can I make this better? For me, I feel like even though I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back, I almost started going through a grieving process which sounds silly because we didn't lose a child. I'm never, I cannot relate at all to what it's like to lose a child, but I was definitely grieving the loss of the child I thought for nine months I was about to have. I'm not Steve in public, I'm uh, best granddaddy. Yeah. Pretty much. Best grandmom, which is fine. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. That's so good, yes. yes. We love our bed. Yes, we do. I know it, you're so smart. Yeah. You're so smart, I know. Are you taking me somewhere? You want a toy? Mom or dad, there's a toy that Beth wants. I'm not sure which one, but she's pointing that way. Could you help us figure out which one? Which one, Dad? You want to show him this one? Yeah? Okay, face this way. Oh, big girl. This is going to be fun reading a book. I love that you communicate what you want to do and that you pointed to this book. That was super awesome and super impressive. I always want you to communicate what you're thinking. So, why don't you point to the star? That is the star. You found it right away. Pound it. Bam. You like to count too, don't you? Can you count my fingers? One, two, three, four. Five. I have five fingers. Yeah, you have five fingers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, five. We both have five fingers. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Thank you. Can you find the heart? You are incredible. You are intelligent. Pound it. Can you find the mouse? I cannot believe my own two eyes. This young girl is unstoppable. There's nothing getting in her way of finding these animals. Pound it. What do you hope others see when they meet Beth for the first time? That being different's okay. You know, I, I guess <clears throat> I guess the thing that scares me about things is, you know, she's still, even though she's four, she uh, she don't realize she's different yet. And then when <clears throat> you know, kids can be cruel sometimes. You know, we've we've had kids that will see her and react, you know, strangely or. And I just hope that, that kids can learn that being different is okay and that parents can teach their children that being different is okay. You know, it's just it's not a choice. It's just the way life is dealt you and you have to deal with it. Probably the most hurtful thing is if a parent sees their child staring or asking questions and they just take their child and whisk them away. <laughs> You know, they don't even give Beth a chance or give us a chance to introduce her and make a new friend and so I just hope that people, no matter how uncomfortable it feels, they come up and introduce themselves to us, introduce their child, that even though she looks different, we're well aware of that. I think sometimes people are like, 
do they know their child is different? Like, we mm-hmm. know. <laughs> we know when we're out that she looks different. But we also know how loving she is and how much she has to show the world and to teach the world about kindness. You are so smart, my friend. Can you point to the purple bird? Yes. High five. You got it right. Can you find the square? You are unstoppable. Pound it. You got to make it explode. Are you proud of Beth? I'm very proud of Beth. She's made our family closer. Of course, we had a close, tight-knit family anyway, but she's made us closer. I just appreciate, I just appreciate every day you have more. You know, we've had a lot of deaths in our family the last year. And <clears throat> along with that and with, with Beth, it makes you appreciate everything so much more. It makes you live for every day. I mean, live for every day. Not with big girl. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. What has kept me going through the past four years is knowing that she does have a good quality of life. And that that's what pushes me because she's happy. And if she thinks life is great and she's smiling, then life is great. (laughs) Mama feels relief when you smile because that means that you're happy. And when you're happy, I'm happy. (laughs) Oh my goodness. You found that horsey right away. Pound it. Pound it again. Pound it again. Pound it again! Pound it again! Just kidding. Beth has Pfeiffer syndrome, not she is Pfeiffer syndrome. I think, unfortunately, yes, it's in her DNA. She's never going to be cured of it. She's always going to have it the rest of her life. But I do think that we can phrase things and raise her in a way where she can be a strong enough person one day to tell people, I have this, it's a part of me, it's just the same way. Anyone else, you know, has freckles or has brown hair, blonde hair. It's just going to be a part of who she is, but not define and limit her. I just made a new friend, and I have a big old smile because of it. You want to do a friendship dance? Friendship, friendship, friendship. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Friendship? Friendship, friendship, friendship. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Friendship. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate what we're doing and want to see SBSK grow, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This will help us reach even more people and make the world a better place. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you found the sheep right away. You are really smart, and I'm super impressed with everything you're showing me.